Now for the fun part, mixing colors. Start by moving some pure red pigment over to the lid of your tray. Then add the same amount, one scoop of orange, to the red pigment, mixing equal parts red and orange. Take this pure pigment and find the box that would match up with red and orange. Ignore that I already have a color painted there. I mentioned in the last video I made a mistake by painting that one. I'm going to just paint my red orange right over the top. And I move my sketchbook around so that I can get into the corners more accurately. When I'm finished, I'm going to pick up my five drops of water again. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to mix it in, and then I need to be careful and make sure that I'm finding the red and orange box on the lower side of the diagonal line. Red, orange. And this will be my 50% lighter shade. From here on out, I will no longer be painting triangles, I will always be painting squares. And I'm leaving a little white line in between everything, and when I'm finished, I'll erase all of my pencil lines. So right now I'm seeing what 50% lighter red orange would be, and what pure red orange would be. Always mixing equal parts of each color for each square. Next I'll make red and yellow. I'll start with my red, one scoop, I'm adding a second scoop, now two scoops of yellow, I clean my brush and dry it so that I have no extra water to water my pigment down, and then I paint my red and my yellow. This is going to give me somewhat of a yellowish brownish tone. This exercise is a wonderful opportunity, <laughs> Twizzler, anyone? For you to see, <laughs> sorry, my daughter's offering Twizzlers, um, how we mix colors and what colors you will get. So you may be surprised by some of the color mixtures, but it will be a wonderful reference for you moving forward when you're trying to make a color, what two colors you need to put together to make what you're going for. So I'm adding my five drops of water, watering my color down, and then I'm going to move down that left side of my square. There's my red yellow, and I'm going to paint my watered down 50% mixture. I'm always going Pure pigment, 50% lighter in the same color um, so that I keep it organized. Okay, next we're going to mix 50% red with 50% green. And this combination may surprise you. Red and green are complementary colors. They're opposites on the color wheel. So whenever you mix opposites on the color wheel, you get a neutral color. This is going to give you a nice gray. In watercolor, we really try to avoid black. That's why we pushed it out to the very edge of our palette. Every once in a while it comes in handy, but we really try to stick to more natural mixed tones. I'm going to water this mixture down, five drops, mix it in, and move down the left side of your square to find red-green and paint your 50% lighter value.
Next, we're mixing red and turquoise together, equal parts of both color. Now, my turquoise, I think I accidentally picked up a little bit too much of it, so I'm gonna go grab one more scoop of red to help balance that out. It shouldn't look still like turquoise with red mixed into it. By doing this chart, we're actually covering some introduction to color theory when it comes to watercolor. This is especially helpful when we get to the end of our watercolor units and we work on portraits. Now we're adding our five drops of water and moving to our red turquoise box to paint our 50% lighter shade. Now, we're looking at blue and red mixed together. I've run out of room in my tray, so I take my paper towel and I wipe a few sections clean so that I've got space to continue on. Red and blue make violet. If your colors ever look a little bit lighter than what you want on the top part of your overall square, you can always add a second coat after giving it a second or two to dry. That will help make the color a little bit more intense. Now for my 50% lighter shade of red and blue. These lighter watered down shades make wonderful second and third layers when we begin working in layers on watercolor paintings. Okay, next we're looking for red violet. Mixing our own red violet will be a little bit of a different color than the red violet that comes with the praying watercolors. Anytime you buy new watercolor paints in a different brand, it's always a good idea to make a color mixing chart to just see how the colors interact together and to give you a guide as far as mixing colors goes when you begin painting. Now 50% lighter with five drops of water.
Now I'm mixing red with red violet, equal parts of each. I love the red violet out of our prank tray, but mixing a little bit of red with it makes a really pretty pink color. Fifty percent lighter red, violet with red. All right, that's it for today. We're going to let that dry and we'll start next class period filling in the other mixtures.